Yumika Kia. Do you know that there's going to be a big change in the world of cars in 2015? This will be a revolutionary change that is friendly to the environment and very effective in promoting an energy mix in Japan. As you all know, global warming is a major problem facing us today. Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap heat from the sun, warming the planet. Global warming leads to problems such as rising sea levels from the melting of ice in the North and South Poles, desertification of green forests, and extreme weather. We have to reduce carbon dioxide emissions to put a halt to this phenomena. In other words, it's essential for us to refrain from burning fossil fuels. This thinking led to the birth of the fuel cell vehicle, or FCV. Many of you might not be familiar with the term fuel cell, but fuel cells are really outstanding. In school, we learned that the electrolysis of water produces hydrogen and oxygen. This process is reversed in fuel cells, with the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen generating electricity. A fuel cell vehicle runs on a motor powered by this electricity. It's the ultimate echo car that emits no exhaust gas at all, just water. This car I'm driving now is a fuel cell vehicle. It runs smoothly and is very quiet. In addition to cars like this, buses, limousines, as well as other kinds of cars are being developed to run on preparations that are now underway to popularize buses, private hires, and other kinds of vehicles running on fuel cells. You might have been riding on one of them without even knowing. Hello, welcome. And this is the hydrogen station, where these vehicles are filled with hydrogen. Okay. Yep, that's good. Fill her up? Yes, thank you. Various deregulations have now made it possible to build hydrogen stations in urban areas and on the sites of gasoline stations. It takes about three minutes to fill up the tank with hydrogen. The FCV can travel over 500 kilometers on this. That's no different from a car running on gasoline. Various means are taken to fill the tank up quickly with hydrogen. Current technology can compress hydrogen up to 70 megapascals. In other words, 700 atmospheres. 700 atmospheres? Does that mean it's 700 times more compressed than the air around us? That's right. In order to quickly fill a car with super high pressure hydrogen in about the same time it takes to fill a gasoline car, the dispenser needs to fill the tank at the proper temperature and speed by detecting how much hydrogen is left in the car's tank as well as the temperature, the type of tank, and other factors. Technologies enabling this are hydrogen pre-cooling and communications technology for hydrogen filling control. So a lot of technologies are necessary to fill the tank up in a short time. Hydrogen is convenient in that it can be produced from various raw materials such as petroleum and city gas. Studies are also underway for the future production of hydrogen from water using solar power, wind power, or other forms of natural energy. Because Japan lacks natural resources, hydrogen would be very effective in addressing energy issues. That's true. Hydrogen has the very large advantage of allowing a shift to other raw materials should a variety of reasons lead to problems concerning the import of energy or energy prices. In an off-site system, this hydrogen is transported to the station by a hydrogen trailer. When hydrogen is produced from city gas or liquid petroleum gas inside the station, the station is called an on-site hydrogen station. At the hydrogen station, 
Hydrogen is compressed and stored in high-pressure tanks. You know, we have this image of hydrogen leaking out and filling a building and then exploding. How safe is the station? At the station, we operate under the key principles of never leaking hydrogen, never letting the building become filled with hydrogen in the case of leaks, and never letting hydrogen ignite. Hydrogen is a very light gas, and when released in the air, it rises and disperses quickly. Taking advantage of this property, the station is a structure that will not allow hydrogen to collect. People are probably concerned about what will happen if an earthquake strikes. Be rest assured. Multiple precautions are in place, such as an automatic shutdown system connected to a seismograph, as well as gas detectors, flame detectors, a water sprinkler system, and sturdy firewalls to protect neighboring areas. Hydrogen is a powerful option to address global warming and provides us with a future where our limited energy sources are used in a clean and efficient manner. That future is coming soon in 2015, right? Yes. Foreign and domestic automakers will begin marketing of fuel cell vehicles in 2015. In preparation for this, hydrogen suppliers are now starting to build hydrogen stations. The success of long years of safety tests has led to steps taken in the deregulation process. Hydrogen stations can now be built next to conventional gasoline stations. The public and private sectors are also working in concert to pave the way for the full-scale advent of a hydrogen society, such as making efforts to cut station construction costs and reducing the price of hydrogen. The same situation exists in foreign countries, such as Germany and the United States. By 2015, there will be about 100 hydrogen stations in Japan, focusing on the four major metropolitan areas, and this number will increase in the following years. The popularity of fuel cell vehicles is also sure to grow in line with these developments. It's now just around the corner. Cars in a society fueled by clean energy, hydrogen. <laughs>